Hi, everybody. Welcome. We are done. Thank God. We are done. <laughs> we are done with uh, Final Fantasy 2. So we are now moving on to Final Fantasy 3. I am very, very, very happy with this. Let me mute this. This is bothering me already. Okay, I am very, very, very happy with this. Hey, Depressaguda, first time chat. Hello, how are you? I like Final Fantasy 3. Um, it is one of my... What is happening over here? Why is... Oh, there I am. I literally... Okay, so this is what, what's happening over here. I have a laptop open, a TV set open, the computer screen open, and there's, there's a lot of stuff going on, and apparently I had two Twitch windows open on my laptop, and I was like, why am I hearing myself? What is happening right there? So that's all that that is. Oh, thank you, Serena. So um, we are moving on to Final Fantasy III. This is kind of like the precursor to Final Fantasy V. There's a lot of job classes going on here. It's not like Final Fantasy I where you could just kind of like, you know, have your job classes at the very beginning and be set in stone. You're going to be getting crystals and it's going to be changing. So your job class is going to be changing constantly and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Eviora000, first time chat from a viewer. How are you? I've never played this in 2D before. Got it for my birthday, but I haven't started it yet. Um, I have played the NES version whenever it was first translated. And then I played a bit of the um, DS version. I finished Final Fantasy IV DS. And then Final Fantasy III, I was just like, oh my god, I can't deal with this. It's too freaking hard. So, um, yeah. I, I, I played some of Final Fantasy III DS, but I never beat it. So I've the only version that I've beaten was the original NES version. And I've done regular runs through it, playing, you know, just whatever blind, and then I've done other runs through it, challenges and whatnot and things like that. So I, I think I've beaten it probably three times, I would imagine, something like that. We are doing the Pixel Remastered version, Open Moose. How are you, first time chat from a viewer? We're doing the Pixel Remastered. And then I have my handy dandy notepad right here so I can take notes as I'm going through and, um, you know, commenting and stuff like that and taking notes of what I want to do on the review as well. Whoa! Ba -ba the Heave Hammer subscribed to Tier 1. They subscribed for four months. Please, uh, cheers, the Heave Hammer. Cheers. Ah. Okay, um, another thing that I want to talk about, um, and, 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 and I've already sent some, some messages to certain people about this, um, but I do want to try to keep, like, chat is fine, and some, you know, talking is perfectly fine in chat, and things like that, and, 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 and a lot of the times you guys will make really, really, really funny jokes, and it cracks me up, but sometimes it gets a little tiny bit too raunchy, so I just want to keep that raunchier side just a little bit down just because i think that it might turn off some new viewers if you know what i mean and you know i want as many people to watch as humanly possible so we can all enjoy this together and sometimes it just gets a little bit too much so i do want to keep that in mind and another thing that i want to say um is let's try to keep the backseat gaming to a minimum as well um i know that whenever i was going to um I know that whenever I was starting up uh, Final Fantasy II Pixel Remastered, I was like, I don't really know this game all that well. You know, it's I hate it, so I <laughs> played it like the one time, you know? Um, so let's just, so so there was a lot of backseating in there, which is fine. Um, but let's just try to keep that backseating to a little bit of a minimum as well. So anyway, with all that being said and done, let's go ahead and start up Final Fantasy III and boop -a doop -a doop here we go oh i'm glad that uh, you can catch this too also let me know um about volume as well because we always have a thing about volume um this is a very first time playing this game so we just want to make sure that volume is good cheers jordan sasser and thank you for the description whoa cheers blackly remix and thank you for the subscription Yes, we can turn the game up. It was at 20, we're gonna bring it up to 52 now and see if that's a little bit better, let me know. Um, RPG Hero, I actually just finished 
my, um, Frank. What the hell kind of suggested names are these? Whatever happened, whatever happened to, like, the... Oh, you've got to be kidding. It doesn't have, like, the real names, you know what I mean? Ugh. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We have Luneth. 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 There we are. Yes, that's fine. And let's see, for you, we're going to do Arc. That's good. There we are. And let's see. For you, not Riley. Who's next? Refia, I believe. R-E-F-I-A. There we are. And you in the back over here. I'm using keyboard and mouse and all things going on. Ingus. Ingus. Okay, perfect. Ugh. We're good? Everything good here? Let's go enter. There we are. That's fine. Oh, I, I actually finished up my, um... My Tales of Arise review, and it's posted on Patreon right now. Um, I posted two two reviews on Patreon just today, actually. Um, Tales of Arise, Tales of Arise review, and the Voice of Cards demo review for that god awful game that we played back on Friday. So, so, so yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I am done. Let's do it. I'm very much interested in how, well, what they changed, what version they're using. I'm imagining that they're going to be using um, the NES version and all that. Yeah, this weekend, Serena, I finished up Tales of Arise. I finished it up this weekend. I still have post-game stuff to do, but I feel like I finished the game game so I can write the damn review. You know, my God. So, yeah. Um, finished the game, got the ending. We goods. We goods. Yes. Because I know that the remake version adds like a little bit of a story where um, <clears throat> where you have to like go around with Lunith and like find the other characters and then you get them together. Whereas the NES version dumps these four bitches into a cave and boom, you get the damn crystal. So I'm kind of hoping that we don't have to do the little bullshit for a year and a day and find them all. But that's just me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well then, RPG Hero, you don't want to uh, see the title of my um, of my review. Tom Derry is hosting my stream with one viewer. Cheers, Tom Derry, and thank you for that. Whatever shall we do? Yeah, that's pretty much, like, the only story that you get for the entire game. Like, that's it. That's, that's, you're, you're never really going to hear them talk again, so. <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's a great game! Why wouldn't I like it? Why wouldn't I like it? Oh, this music's kind of rocking, I've got to say. As usual, music is fantastic. I'm going to write that down. Music rocking. Rocking music. I kind of wish that now, like, I understand that back in the day, they couldn't, um, have... Oh, they, oh, they did! They did! They did! Okay, so back in the day, Lunith and Ingus's sprite were both, were both red. They were the same, but if you look, Ingus's sprite just a little tiny bit more pink than uh, Lunith's sprite right there. Ah, first time chat from a viewer from Wombus. Arise is great. I was kind of starting to fall out of love with the Tale series, and then BAM! I actually said something very similar to that in my review. Um, so yeah, I was kind of falling out of love with it as well. I, I, I think I said that, that it was losing its way, you know? That, that Tales was losing its way. Oh, this kind of spoils something, but anyway. <laughs> Ugh. Why, why, why can't I, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. I was trying to, I was wondering what was going on with my, uh, controller there. Okay, um, I just got a new piece of equipment. There we go, leather shield. Nice. What is it? I love, uh, Vesperia. That was a great entry to the Tales series. Great. It had, like, a Final Fantasy IX 
progression system, you know what I mean? And I like that a lot, where you can learn skills based upon uh, your equipment, so I like that. <clears throat> Man, this is like Final Fantasy Mystic Quest music. Like, it's rocking. I'm really liking that. Hey, Group Math. How's everybody doing today? I am doing good. Hey, PK Gaming Alpha. Let's see. Oh, also, I ordered a, um, a Final Fantasy III strategy guide. So that should be coming in the mail relatively soon. It said sometime between the 29th, which is Wednesday, and um, between the 29th and the 4th of October. So hopefully we get that, and that will really help me be able to compare all the different versions. Okay, so here we have job levels. Um, let's write that down, job levels. Job levels. Each job has a particular level, and as you gain up their levels, you will get, um, or the, their attacks will become more potent. Oh, yeah, it's an odd-colored spring in a cave with sinkholes. Let's drink out of it. Let's poison ourselves. Oh, cool. So you can grind here if you want to. Yikes! But as of right now, you really can't do anything else besides attack, so we're just gonna chill. I mean, yeah, there's. I, I have my gripes about Arise too. It is. It, it, it can be very um, episodic. The. I, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, it can be episodic, and the ending part is kind of. I don't know. It just seems kind of um, thrown together, I guess. But. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I think it's really nice. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, let's look at our stats here, just so we can see what we have going on here. So we have regular levels here, experience, next level, and I don't see where it talks about job levels. You would think that it would have the job levels listed, unless it's under job right here, but we can't access job right here. We can't access that as well. Uh, we can do our formation. We can put them in front row or back row. Hey, Vesper Star, first time chat. I like to rise. Made me love Tails again. I know, I felt like I was losing something after uh, Zestiria and Berseria and all that. In the first game, you couldn't change your rows like you can here. Um, you could just kind of put them in order. In the second game, if they were in the back row, they couldn't attack physically, and the enemies couldn't attack them physically either. But here we actually have rows that work in the same way as they do in all the other um, games and everything. So, that's kind of nice. Let's look at this. Good. Everything else is fine. We got a quick save. Okay, we're good. We good. We good. Magalu drove me crazy. Ugh. Uh-oh. Yikes! Malicious force! Oh, thank you, Vesper Star. So, let's go ahead and just attack this guy. As you can see, attacks aren't really the best against him, but he's not really dealing all that much damage to us either. So, we're just gonna keep on attacking. There is an easier way to get rid of this guy, but... Nah, I don't care. It's fine. We're just gonna use this. Yeah, it's, it's easy enough. We got an Antarctic Wind. You could have used it to one-shot, but, um... Nah, 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 we'll save that. We'll save that for later. The crystal shedding its light silently. Oh, the crystal's actually talking. You would think that it'd be like talking into their minds or something. I do hope that they add some more balance in, even if it's based on the NES version. 
Like, because some of the jobs in the NES version just sucked. They just sucked. So hopefully they do a little bit of rebalancing here and there. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. If you, was, if you guys want to talk about Arise, that's perfectly fine. But we actually have a room in the Discord channel um, where you can talk all about Arise. So I'm just giving my cursory things and all that, so yeah. Oh, I'm glad that you're here, Lemon Seals. Very glad. Okay, so we've got Warrior Monk, White Mage, Black Mage, and Red Mage jobs now. So essentially, we get all the Final Fantasy 1 jobs from the very first crystal. Huh, you can examine the crystals and get fully healed. That's kind of nice. So let's look at uh, our jobs that we have here. Oh, I like the way that they look. This is nice. Except the white mage looks kind of derpy, I've got to say. But anyway, we're going to do a warrior. And it tells you what equipment they can equip down there in the bottom right-hand corner. So that's nice. It gives you their job level. So that's cool. Oh, I'm actually just equips everything. And let's see, for Ark, we'll give him a Monk for right now. We don't want to give him any equipment or anything, though. And for Refia, we're going to make her... I have a whole list. We're going to actually make Refia a Red Mage. Um, more than likely, you would probably want you, you to have a White Mage for right now, but Red Mage is really nice and um, has access to all the different spells and everything. Good equipment as well. Ooh, we can double fist. <laughs> nice. Um, ooh, wow. Hold on a second. If I... Hold on a second. Can you double fist? If I... So hold... Wait, you... Hold on. Hold on. Hold your little... Okay, okay, okay. I, I see what's happening. So whoa, what's happening? Thogs. Thogs? Thogs has followed. Cheers, Thogs or Thogs. Cheers. Nice that we can double attack right here. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, Refia, we'll give you this leather shield right there. Notice how evasion is not busted. It goes from evasion 1 to 2%. So, yeah, it's completely not busted. That's nice. I guess they learned from their mistakes last time. And then for Ingus, let's see, jobs. We're going to go ahead and make him a black mage. Okay. Go, optimal. Too bad you can't get shields. Okay. So now I want to do formation. We're going to stick you in the back row, and everything else is fine. Oh, look at his hair! It looks like he combed his little hair. Oh, I think he's adorable. Go saves. Ah! Why would I want to use a potion on you? Yeah, you know how in Final Fantasy IV, like if you have to use like the magma key at the well, and you have to like select it from the item and all that, like that's a holdover from the NES days right here. Like this, using the potion on that guy right there. That would be nice, TD Black Box. That would be nice. No, Jimmy, it's not like that. Uh, basically, it's like Final Fantasy V, where you gain n more job classes as you uncover more crystals. By gaining job levels and gaining proficiencies that will help increase your strength in the um, in that particular job, so it would behoove you to keep your jobs similar, um, like and not change around too much because then you wouldn't have high job levels. How does everybody know about all this? Oh, okay, I'll be, I'll be true to my heart. That's that's fine. That's easy enough. It's over here. 
Okay, so some more restoration stuff that we don't really need. Kazus. Oh. Oh no! Monsters! There's always monsters. This is this is the only white magic spell? And like an antidote spell? Seriously? You, what about cure? Whoa! What's happening? <laughs> Cheers, Bungle SK! Cheers, and thank you for the follow. So we're, real, we're living in the Sassoon Kingdom. What we got going on here? Ooh, wow, even the Black Mage can equip leather armor? That's nice. Let's see, this is 1-1-1, one, one, one. this is 3 and 1, so this one gives you an extra evasion. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do... Um, do I want four leather armors? Let's get four leather armors. And let's see. If I do a bronze bracer, can I, can I equip that on the arms? see. Oh, yeah, the bronze bracer's right there. Nice! Well, that's good to know. I'll go, I'll go ahead and grab another bronze bracer then. Okay. Okay, we good. Oh, is it Eagle Knight? I don't think so, but maybe. It's been a minute since I've played this game. I remember a lot of things about it, but not everything. Oh, the red mage can't equip a long sword? Huh. Um, are nunchucks any good in this game? I'm kind of thinking no. Oh, yeah. I'm just kind of surprised that the red mage can't equip the long sword. I guess that's been nerfed. Huh. Let's go to optional. So he's going to have a long sword and a knife. He's just going to be a killing machine. Yeah, I know. It's been years since I've beaten this on the NES, too. Ah, okay, the spell of cure. It's gonna shed deeper in the thicket. But there's monsters along the path. I ain't afraid of no monsters. Let's get them! Oh, we still don't even have any black magic or anything, so I'm not worried about it. Whoa, 49 damage from just punching them in the face? Hell yeah! Ah. Oh. So just like in, you can really see a lot of Final Fantasy IV's stuff first introduced here in Final Fantasy III, such as switches and the candles and all that. Cheers, Carl Tanner, subscribe to the Prime Game, subscribe for six months. Cool. Cheers. First time chat from Mungo SC. Monks and black belts are strong in this game. I know I'm already using them too. Oh, I already wasted all this money on all this crap. Okay, whatever. I keep on hitting the wrong button. Okay, so we got the spell of cure here. So I guess I need to learn it like this. Okay, so now they have access. So now Refi has access to poison and cure. Okay, that's nice. I guess if I want. Okay, whatever. I was just hoping that like you have to buy it like a Final Fantasy V. You buy it once and then everybody kind of knows it. You know what it means for for future job purposes and all that. But I guess that's not the case. Uh, we'll give you the dagger that I got. Ah, we can double fist some knives too. Perfect. Let's see what's over here. Ah, oh, potion. I do feel like they made this just a tad bit easier. Um, I can kind of tell because I remember in the NES times I had to grind outside before going back. I, I, I couldn't make it to this shed um, the first time. Whoa, what's happening? Blue Dan, 410, has followed. Cheers! And Winston Maxwell, 420, subscribed to Cheer 1, that for two months on a two-month streak. Cheers! Awesome! Thank you, thank you, thank you for both of you. Yeah, it's not... I, I'm just gonna say easier in general. Easier in... I have not J Thurb. However, Ten Button Gamer has followed. Cheers, Ten Button Gamer. However, um, I will be making a not only a review. Not only will I be making a review for this game, but I will also be making a um, a job 
tier ranking video. And I'm going to be ranking the jobs here in this version. The Pixel Remaster version, not the NES or the DS or whatever, just the Pixel Remaster version. Okay. Got a little crap in here. Whoa! have to sing a song. And a hype train is close, too. I just looked over. I saw that. What song do I want to sing? Ooh, bronze bracers. Let me think about this. I have some written down over there. Um, what song do I want to sing? Hmm. <laughs> I think... Ooh, sleep. Is that another spell? Cool. God, all these swords, nunchucks, everything. Good lord. Um, if this is sleep, let's learn sleep. Black magic can inflict sleep, but the red mage doesn't have access to it, so it's not universal. Yeah. Okay, so then that hole is going to drop you back into where you were before, and I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let's see. What song do I want to sing? I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing... Some Wilson Phillips. Whoa! Vesper Star subscribed at tier one. And with that, we have a hype train. Cheers, Vesper Star, and cheers to the hype train. Cool. Cheers. Uh, and I have to sing a song. <laughs> sing a song of sixpence. Now, I'm going to sing... Release Me by Wilson Phillips. Just the first couple of lyrics, though, because that's what we do here. I know that it's time for a change, but when the change comes, will it still feel the same? How many times have I tried to turn this love around? I don't want to give up a baby, it's time I had two feet on the ground. <clears throat> Can you release me? Can you release me? Now that you're gone, I can't help myself from wondering. Oh, if you would come down. From your high, would you been alright? Can you release me? Can you release me? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You knew it was time to just let go. Cause we wanna be free. Somehow it's just not that easy. Oh, 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 baby. Come on, darling, now hear me, darling. Cause you're oh, a yes, waste daddy. of time for oh, me. Yes, daddy. I'm trying to make oh, you yes, see daddy. that, baby, you've just got to release me. <laughs> well, thank you. Now that I'm all sweaty and gross and disgusting, oh my god, and I saw that bluey. Cheers, oh, bluey, and yes, thank you daddy. so much. Whoa, and cheers oh, to yes, Daddy Hoff, daddy. gifting five cheer oh, one sub yes, to the community. Daddy. They've gifted, oh, I couldn't yes, see. Daddy. Let me move this oh, thing over yes, and daddy. see. Oh, yes, daddy. Uh, 318 oh, yes, daddy. subs in the channel. Oh, cheers, yes, Daddy Hoff, and thank you. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Ugh. Ugh. Whoa! What's happening right now? Um, oh, I'm yes, not gonna be able to daddy. pronounce that name, but oh yes, Puff daddy. Finkery, cheers oh, yes, and thank daddy. you for the follow. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Um, if I do this, okay. So we are in Kate. If you look here, whoa! Oh, oh! Thank you, tending bonfires. First time chat says, "Hey, Dave, love your YouTube videos. Currently playing through Dragon Quest V because of your videos. I'm obsessed." Dragon Quest V. Well, thank you. Love Dragon Quest V. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Such a good game. 
Ah. I feel like there's something over there on that left-hand side, but I don't see anything there. Now, there are treasures and... Aha! Secret hidden passage! Get a staff. I do like how it highlights the secret hidden passages. That's nice. Ooh, a mithril helm. Um, can you equip that? You can. Very nice. Hey, Dragon Master. Let's see. Is there any more hidden secret passages? Oh, we do have a short rip! Yeah, that's right! So if you look up at the stream boss, I know we have some new viewers today. If you look up at the stream boss in the upper left hand corner of the screen, you will see like a little HP meter there. And as you donate, follow, subscribe, whatever, then, um, then, um, the HP meter will go down, and one of our stream boss dies, we rip a shirt! Because, you know, they rest in peace, so we rip in honor of them. Wow, here I am getting... Oh, shoist! Arc! Yikes! Ooh, these guys have a lot of HP! Holy crap! Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa, Serena Fox gives you 10 tier 1 subs to the community. Cheers, Serena Fox. Cheers, and thank you. Holy crapolas. Oh my god. Get the hell out of there. Somebody told me what to do over here, Sid, but I didn't even listen to him. So we need to reach the cavern where the djinn was sealed away. You have to defeat him and lift the curse. Cheers, Serena Vox, gifting two. Oh, oh, that's two shirt rips. That's what's happening here. I'm going to write down two. Cheers, Serena Vox, and thank you. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is there a healing spring in here? Or do I have to go back to the other town? I feel like that. Oh, it just revives. Okay. What's in the can? Wild Basin Black Raspberry. Black Raspberry. It's a hell of a lot better than that blueberry mango crap that we had. Oh, there's a bed in the inn. Thank you, Black Box. Let's do that. Whoa! Tom Derry! <laughs> Cheers, Tom, and thank you for the donation. Oh. It is. It's Like I said, it's better than the... Uh, that mango shit that I had last time. Got playing a bad game. Playing the bad mango. We're having the bad mango. Bad game. So upsetting to me. So upsetting to me. Whoa, group math. Cheers, Rashad, and thank you. Cheers. Ugh. Cheers, Serena Vox, and thank you. It was like some sort of mango blueberry something or other. That shit was nasty. Cheers, 10 button gamers subscribed at tier one. Cheers, and thank you. Oh, thank you, RPG hero. I know, I know, I know. My fans are wonderful. All of y'all are wonderful, 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 and I love you all. Thank you. Whoa, Jimmy! Cheers, Daddy Jimmy. Cheers, and thank you. Oh. A mithril ring will seal away the Dijin again, but Kazus can craft a ring where the curse is. <laughs> Cheers, Hoff. <laughs> oh. Where am I going? Looks like there's not really much going on that way. I don't see anything over there. Let's go over here. Oh, poor Daddy Hoff. Whoa, Serena Vox! Cheers, Serena Vox, and thank you. Cheers. So everybody's cursed. That last town is cursed. This this town's cursed. Oh, I'm glad to be of service, William Booth. Oh, there's like a little it shows you where the uh where the little path is here. So yeah, you can see that little path right there if you go on the map screen. Now you see it, now you don't. Oh, but then the path appears again, so you still see it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's actually go over this way. We'll go oh, down. Oh yes, Daddy. 
Oh yes, daddy. <gasps> oh yes, daddy. Arise is great, man. So good. So good. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, more treasure. A blizzard spell and a leather shield. Awesome. What time Ingus got some decent magic. Here we are. No, eggplants don't move the train. Cheers, Bluey! That does, though. Cheers, and thank you. <clears throat> well, the Hoffa is giving two tier one subs to the community. They've gifted 320 subs in the channel. Cheers, Daddy Hoff. Cheers, and thank you. We're almost done with this can, my god. <sighs> Up we go. The White Slayer, the Western Tower of Castle okay, so soon, but only a red mage can wield it. Ah. I didn't see a White Slayer. So the Dijun is in Seal Cave north of the castle. You need a Mithril Ring to seal him away. Princess Sarah has one. And the Hype Train came in at a level 5! Cool. So the people of Kazus once presented Sarah with a mithril ring, but Sarah's nowhere to be found. She's abducted by the Jin. Okay. 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 <sighs> so the skeleton is a key. Defeat the Jin. Okay, got you. Oh, do you have anything else to say? Oh, oh it just says the same thing. Are you guys done? Are you done? Okay, perfect. Um, so I... Where's the White Slayer? They said there was something in the Western Tower? I didn't see a White... a White Slayer. I went that way. That's east, though. Is it over her? Oh, there we go! There is more to this place! Okay, but we got a level 5 hype train, so we have some stuff to do. We have to rip two shirts, um, oh, I want to check this arrow situation, though. Ah! Okay, so arrows are still numbered, because it's based on the NES version. I was hoping that they weren't numbered. That sucks. Okay. I was hoping that they were, like, infinite arrows. Uh-oh! Monsters! And with these monsters, we are going to rip shirts, and then we need to do a song and a dance, because we got the level 5... Hype train. Are they infinite still? Oh, awesome. Good. I'm gonna write it down. Arrows. Infinite. That's nice. That'll make the hunter or the archers or whatever so much better. Don't dance yet. Well, I'm ripping shirts right now, Jim. We have two shirts to rip. Two shirts to rip. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Jay! Now we have a shot to do, and now we have three shirts to rip. In honor of Jimmy, we'll do the shot first, okay? That way the shot can kind of go into me before we danced. Before we dance. Shall we dance, Jimmy? Shall we? <sighs> We're almost getting down to the, to the end of this bottle, too. I'm gonna have to get uh, another bottle of Bacardi or something else or something. I saw a bottle in the pantry of peach snobs. And I'm like, that sounds really good, actually. I kind of want some peach snobs. I'm gonna try to be a big boy. Because sometimes I like, I'm, I'm, I'm a big girl whenever I do this, and I wanna be a big boy. Let's do this, let's be a big boy. So we have three shirts to rip. We have three shirts to rip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just 
soon and I started shrieking immediately. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? It's a gray shirt of some sort. Um, just a regular, everyday, average, gray shirt. Nothing, nothing too spectacular about it. But we are gonna rip it. I was snorting and shrieking, apparently. <laughs> Daddy Jimmy did it to me. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Ready? Here's shirt number one out of three. It does kind of look like that static that you see on the television set, I've got to say. There we go. Yes, there are channel points that you can do to spare a shirt as well as choose the shirt color. There's one. Shirt number dos. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, this one. This is actually one of my shirts. I did not buy this at Salvation Army. This is the shirt that I wore to the 4th of July party. This was the 4th of July party shirt that I wore where the infamous orgy took place. So now the shirt can no longer ever be worn again, so it's just gonna get ripped. And it's so patriotic too. All red, white, and blue. It was 4th of July. Yeah, this is that infamous, infamous shirt. Let's see. It is! It's nice! It's nice. <laughs> Too late for save the shirt! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, oh yes, daddy. Oh, oh just yes, too daddy. late! Too oh, late! Too yes, late daddy. for Jay! Ah, oh, The next one, if you want me to save it, Jay, let me know and I'll save it. But that was too late. I I already it was already ripped. Ah, it's already ripped. It's already ripped, Jay. Ripped. You gotta be quicker than that. Whew, I'm out of breath. Oh. Okay. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ah. Oh. Looks like another gray shirt. Jay, do you want me to save this shirt? This gray shirt, if I save this shirt, then we can look for a different shirt. Do you want me to, or no? Go ahead and rip it, or look for another shirt. I'm gonna give you that chance. No, I hate it, rip it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can do. Can do. Regular gray shirt and gonna be ripped. There we go. Yes, of the slum, the shirt is ripped. So that was three shirts for three stream bosses. I'm a little bit drunk, and now I have to sing a song and do a song and dance because we hit a level five hype train. And I think I know what song I want to sing. 
It's a classic. It's a classic song that I'm sure everybody knows, because that's what I do here. <laughs> oh, God. And also because that's just the songs that I happen to like, so it is what it is. So, anyway, let's see if I need to do this. And, oh, I need to have both of these. Ah! No! They both need to be synced! Stop it! <laughs> What's happening? Okay, so. <clears throat> I need to have this synced. Oh, I need to go to big screen. Oh, I already am in big screen mode. My god, I already. Oh, why is this happening to me? Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this, this resets. This resets. And then I gotta hit them both at the same time. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. I know the muscle shuffle. I'm really terrible at doing anything. Okay. Way from Pasadena, little old lady from Pasadena. Go, Granny, go, Granny, go, Granny, go. Has a little pretty flower bed of white gardenias. Go, Granny, go, Granny, go, Granny, go. Parked in a rickety old garage is a brand new shiny red super stock Dodge. Everybody's saying that there's nobody meaner than the little old lady from Pasadena. She drives real fast and she drives real hard. She's the terror of Colorado Boulevard. It's the little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> Just do your on the street, don't try- oh. <laughs> granny go, Granny go, Granny go. You might drive a goer, but you'll never lose her. Go, Granny, go, Granny, go. But she's gonna get a ticket now, sooner or later. Cause she can't keep her foot off the accelerator. <laughs> Everybody's saying that there's nobody meaner than the little old lady from Pasadena. She drives real fast and she drives real hard. She's the terror of Colorado Boulevard. The little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> go, 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 granny, go, granny, go. <laughs> As you can see, I did not get into dance. There's a reason. <laughs> We'll turn a racer from miles around, but she'll give him a length and she'll shut him down. Everybody's saying that there's nobody meaner than the little old lady from Pasadena. Drives real fast and she drives real hard. She's the terror of Colorado Boulevard. It's the little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We're done with Jan and Dean singing about little old ladies. Running people over. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, thank you, Hoff. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I am not a dancer. I am not a singer. Ah, uh, God. Uh, uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're fighting some griffins. We're getting our white sword. Very good. You are good. Um, let's see, we got that blizzard spell. Yeah, I'm deep. That's enough. It is. I like that. Whew. Hey! The dancing! If I was just singing, or if I was just dancing, I'd be fine. But when you're singing and you're dancing, it gets you out of breath. Ooh. Oh, did I not even equip that? Hold on. Yeah, nice. What's the description? Holy power, that will really help against these undead as well. <clears throat> yeah, and a shot prior and... Um, <clears throat> this can is done. <clears throat> so that too. Dancing, shot, singing. Yeah. Whew. 
So I want to see... You know what? I need to use a cure spell. I kind of wish that they didn't give you poison first, because then you have to hit over. You have to hit over to get to the cure. And that's just kind of a little bit annoying. I should have learned cure first and then poison second. <clears throat> God, this game is so much better. Whoa! This game is so much better than um, Final Fantasy II. It's literally like you can see Final Fantasy IV in the game. You can see it. The character models, everything, it's all there. <clears throat> yes. Oh, I don't know if you can or not. I, I can try that. I have plenty of money. I got a thousand gold in the uh, chests there. Did they double? I don't have. I don't have my strategy guide. I wish I did. I could look and see if they doubled the gold or not. That'd be nice. Let's 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 try it. Let's see if I. Oh, you can remove an exchange. That's kind of cool. So if I remove that, remove that, and then aha. Yeah. And then I can remove them. Like, let's say that I wanted to make Ingus a white mage. I can take them off of Refia and move them over to Ingus. That's nice. <clears throat> I don't want permanent status effects. I don't want it. That is nice, Jaytherb. I don't think that your thing went through, love me, touch me. Yeah, I'm going to write that down. Remove, remove, and exchange, exchange spells. Okay. I think it was more that the NES was just kind of on its way out. Um, the one that they didn't port, or that they didn't bring over to America because they thought it was too hard, was Final Fantasy V. They actually called it Final Fantasy Expert. There is an article in the Nintendo Power about it, and it's not even called Final Fantasy V. It's literally called Final Fantasy Expert. And they were talking about them bringing it over to America, but they didn't because it was too hard. And that's the thing. I don't even think it's all that damn hard. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I know. Aw, oh, Ark! Ark has his sunglasses on. I wonder if blind actually works in this. That's a no. <laughs> oh, no, he missed there, so maybe blind does work here. Who knows? Nice. Yeah, pretty much. That's, what, that's why in Japan they released um, Mystic Quest as Final Fantasy USA. Only one eye drop. Okay, do that. Use these cures. Oh. Can I not hit this switch? Hey, Lemon Seals. It looks like there's a switch here, but it's not letting me activate the switch. Hmm, so I still can't go here. If this isn't where I'm supposed to go, then I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Let's see. They said I need to uh, fight the Jin over in the northern cave. Well, I'm glad that you're here, Lemon. <clears throat> so Sid, so I went to the castle with an airship. So I need the airship. But the airship, I know, is under the desert. And what's in that cave back there? I don't know, because I can't activate the switch. Go to the desert and hit OK. Aha! <clears throat> there we are. Wow, this was enormous. I thought I needed to get an item, like a floater or something, to get in here. Now this airship, you can't go over the mountains with. You can't even go over this rock with. It's the crappiest airship you've ever seen. They really should have called this a hovercraft. 
and um, given it the Final Fantasy IV hovercraft sprite. That would have been better. But did they ever do what I tell them to do? No, they don't. <clears throat> Treasure. I know! It was brutal! You guys saw me go through Mystic Quest? Man, that was a pain in the ass. Thank you, Jimmy. I have incredible YouTube and incredible Discord. Thank you! That means a lot to me, Daddy Jimmy. That means a lot to me. No, the warrior, I think, is using a long sword. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check on what the warrior has equipped. He's a long sword equipped, yeah. A long sword and a knife. I could give him two long swords. That's something. Still have that. You still have two knives. Let's give him that dagger. I could give him. Let's do this, actually. If I give you a bow and then a holy arrow, then you have access to elemental attacks. That's a thing. Let's do that. An extra long sword. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go against... Uh... Let's just see what happens with this bow. Nice! Not bad! Not bad! Especially because the Black Mage is in the back row. So... The daggers are doing half damage, but now with the bow, doing full damage. That's, that's, that's really good. Whoa! Wait, where's my drink? Oh, there it is. Cheers, Jeffrey Kaiser. Rant! City to this game stinks! All those airships can't cross mountains, even the final airship is a gimmick. What's the point of them being airships? Kind of agree! Cheers. Oh, what is this? Raspberry tangerine. Ooh, yummy. Yums. Yums. Ah, oh, hell. Ugh. You know what? Since this is a back attack and everybody's like halved, um, let's do do a cure on you and do a blizzard. There we are. Let's see if we get multi-targeting blizzard happening right now, then it can be... Yikes! Yikes! No! Well, hell! So much for that, and I cured the bastard, too! Ugh! No, the first Sid was in Final Fantasy 2. Yeah. He was retconned into remakes of Final Fantasy 1, but he was, he was in Final Fantasy 2. I gotta get out of here. I gotta heal up Ingle uh, Inga. I have to revive Ingus. This sucks. Seriously? Man. Slow ass. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I talked about the beginning of the, uh, of the chat. HM. <clears throat> Possessed small change. <laughs> Ugh. It could be like this woman. Um, so, Nibling and I were both cashiers at Publix at the same time. And this was back in the 90s. So, there was still a lot of people who paid with checks and cash and, you know, things like that. And, um, you know, th there was this woman who would come in... I wonder if I can go inside of this. Is this a chocobo forest? No. Okay. There was this woman who would come in, and she would always pay with change. And it was like, you know, it was cash, and then she would always have to have, like, exact change. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm a cashier. I'm standing there. Whatever. I don't really give a shit if somebody pays with exact change or not. Half the time, I didn't really like giving change back anyway, because it was a pain in the ass. I didn't want to count it. And, um... After like an eight hour shift, a lot of the times your cash reserves would be running low and you would have to, um, you know, you'd have to go to the customer service and you'd ask, ask them for extra change. So it was kind of nice 
whenever people paid with exact change so you didn't have to give them change back. Any way. This one woman's sitting there and she's counting out her change as slow as molasses and honestly I'm thinking to myself oh this is kind of a nice break and I was just kind of standing there and I was just like vegging out. I was just you know vegging out not paying really any attention whatsoever to her or her counting her change or anything. I really didn't give a shit. And then she goes she like looks at me and she goes is something wrong? And I was like no. And she goes are you upset that I'm counting back change? And I'm like no. And it's just kids these days. I'm, I'm elderly, and I take a long time to count back change. And I'm like, that's fine, you know, take your time. She's like yelling at me for like no reason. You know what I mean? It's like no reason. She starts yelling at me. I'm like, I can't believe the disrespectful look on your face. And I'm like, bitch, I wasn't even like looking at you. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm just vegging out. I've been here for like eight hours. Like, leave me the fuck alone. You know? But like, I'm just like, I, I wasn't staring at you. I wasn't, you know. And then she like, basically like, she throws her change at me. She, there was this little counter where the credit card inserter machine thing was. And then there was another space where they could write their checks or put their purse down or count their change or whatever. And she pushes the change off of that into the area where all the groceries were, where the bagger was bagging the groceries. And then I'm like, what the fuck, you know? So I had to, like, dig through the groceries that were there and get her change and everything. And then she goes, and all the change better be there, too, because it was all there, and I counted it. And if you lose the change, then that's on you. And if your drawer is off, then that's on you. And I was like, what the fuck, lady? Like, what a bitch. Like, <laughs> it was so weird. Like... <laughs> She never went through my line again, either. Ugh, good riddance. My god. <clears throat> Stupid bitch. <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny, the, the things that will stick with you after so many years. You know what I mean? Like, something that happens when you're 16 years old, and then that, you know, it sticks with you. <clears throat> hey, we found Princess Sarah. Okay, so you do have the ring. Oh. I thought that you couldn't go ahead because of the monsters. Wow. You are fickle, aren't you? No, I didn't, Nibling. <laughs> Everybody loved me. <laughs> oh, Grosshoff. It